Hey guys, welcome back to the Wolverhampton career mode. This is the finale. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Sorry for the delayed upload. I was supposed to stream this finale. However, the internet and everything else with it just didn't work out. So we're going to record it. We're going to record it. It might be a feature length episode, but we're here for it. If you've made it to the, this finale, you're absolute top man. Um, like, comment, subscribe if you're here. And yeah, maybe you've all binged it at once and you're here and the finale. And yeah. We're only in the Premier League, as you can see. Um, that's the only competition left we are in. That's unfortunate. We'd, we'd love to stage the FA Cup bid, but we lost really badly to Spurs last episode. And the EFL Cup, we, I think we bumped out early of that. Bumped out? I got knocked out early of that competition. So really, it's the race of top four that's really going to be the driving force towards this episode. Um, yeah, Spurs and Arsenal, Chelsea all fighting for top spot. But to be fair, Chelsea, I think, dropped points. So I think it's between Spurs, Arsenal and Wolves for that fourth spot. Game in hand for Spurs, but we're versing Spurs, so that could be that could be a big game for us. But if we lose just as badly as we did last episode, then it could be over before it's even begun. But luckily, we've got a game against Arsenal as well. So that's another top top four rival. That's the two games we're going to be playing this episode. Everything else we're going to be simulating. But if we're losing some of these games against the Brightons and the Newcastles of this world, We'll jump in, obviously, because every point matters now. Seven games left to go. We're going to do this. Um, obviously, this is the finale. Um, I'm not going to be carrying on with this career mode because 2021, PS5, I'm going to get the PS5. Fortunately, they don't allow career modes to um, to actually carry over their save progress, isn't it? So um, that's unfortunate. But to be fair, it's probably time for a fresh start anyway. However... I will consider jumping back on uh, the Wolves career mode because it's a bit of, like it's not a natural conclusion to go just ch qualify Champions League. That's the end. But it looks like it'll have to be. But I'm open to coming back to it as a throwback career mode in the future. But uh, just try and maybe see what Wolves do in the career mode in the Champions League. I was considering just restarting a career mode on PS5 with Wolves. But just put them in the Champions League this season. But obviously all the players uh, ratings would go back down to default pretty much. So uh, that, that, that would be annoying, wouldn't it? Um, it's time for a fresh start, I think. And let me know what you think. Let me know what new team you want me to play with in FIFA 21 career mode next year. And maybe even Ultimate Team. I'm considering that. But that comes for future videos and future decisions. Instagram, Twitter for updates. Link in the description. Thank you very much. That's my plug. Now, let's let's show you the actual schedule. So we've got Tottenham. We've got, we're going to be playing that straight away. We're going to be playing Fulham, Newcastle in simulation, Crystal Palace. Southampton, some of these are going to be away, especially Southampton away, that could be dangerous, And but Arsenal will be playing as well, um, we won't be playing the final game of the season just for time restraints, but we pro we'll probably jump in the final 10 minutes just because it is the final game, and we'll see, we'll see at this point, who knows, it could go all horribly wrong uh, in this game, just like last time, we've been playing really, really not the best form, and you don't want to end the season with bad form, and that's what I've been playing with, I've been playing badly on this game, the game's not been helping me as well. The luck is in there, my my play is in there, just the passing is in there, it's just the goals aren't coming in. And that needs to change if we want to have top four football. Um, we played so well at the start of the season, we just need to end off in, in it. I just really hope we can end well, but it's just legendary difficulty. I could make it world class, but I'll, I want to keep it legendary. I just need to fix up and yeah, good team. Probably the same one that versed us, beat us 4-0 before. And yeah, they got a good defending a Serbi. That's a new tr signing. I think he's from. Um, I think he's from the Italian league. He's great on Ultimate Team. I've played with him there. But yeah, we've got our we've got our team, which is just just is good enough to beat them if we can score. If we can score first, maybe start off really well. We have we've been starting off slow in a lot of these matches, so that needs to change. But yeah, enough talk. Let's get straight into the action. As you can see, uh, as I sip my coffee or not coffee tea. Oh bloody hell! You know it's early in the morning. Um, Jimenez is on 29 goals, so he's probably a, sh a sure foot in for that Golden Boot trophy, which is brilliant to see. At least that's the only trophy we're going to be winning, really. But it's one of our own. It's one of our best strikers. One of the best strikers in the world right now, Val Jimenez, in the game as well. We're, real we're realising his potential. He really is. He's 30 years old. He's 29 years old, but he, he plays experienced. He knows how to hold up play. He knows how to get assists. He knows how to get the goals. That's that's what the, that's what you want from a striker. And he's been carrying us a lot this season, getting us the goals when we need it, when we need it. And we're gonna need him now again. Um, Sadio Mane six goals below him. Yeah, he's storming everybody else. He's just too good. But yeah, we need everyone else to be in our team to be also contributing. We've had a lot of contributors like Moutinho, uh, Neves. Uh, 
to be fair, the wingers haven't had too much uh, to, to shout about, but they've had a lot of space to assist. So yeah, we'll be looking at um, the stats of the season at the end. See who's got the most goals assists. We know we know him and has got the most, but we want to see assists as well. Who's got the second most goals? And also, let's let's we'll centre backs have been decent. Just I just haven't been defending well for the past couple of episodes. Open the corner has been a revelation. tomato has been consistently good at right back. So we just need to play these guys to their full potential. We know what these guys are capable. We know what we're capable of. We just need to do it in the big teams as well. That's most especially. So yeah, we're gonna just start off here good. I was considering going defensive just because of how bad we've been playing, but let's just try and ease ourselves in here. Jimenez, speaking of hold up play, but Adama can't keep hold of it. There, look at the counter now. That's classic Jose Mourinho. That's the danger, isn't it? That's the danger. The counter when we attack. And now Lucas is through already. Brilliant start. And he scored already. See, this is the problem, isn't it? The counter attack is not good enough. I'm going to go defensive. I think I'm right. I think. We're leaving ourselves too exposed at the back, and it's not a good start again. That's exactly what we wanted to avoid, but we've done it again. Yeah, we're going to go defensive. Let's hope that's that changes the bit of the dimension and, and forces Tottenham to leave a bit of space of their own. Lucas looks like he's on a mad one here. Just keep it calm. Do not panic. Don't make any rash slide tackles. Carrie Kane's got space here. Sykes is trying to get to him, but can't quite get there. Lally, making space for himself with skills. Good defending by Smaylor, but they've still got the ball here, which is annoying. Good defending by Zakaria. It's very tense at the moment, but Zakaria managed to calm things down. Now we can counter. This is what we want to see. It's a must-win game if you want to try and catch up to Tottenham, who are in fourth place. We can do it. Come on. Jimenez. Oh, good tackle by Soko, but this is decent. This is better. Just need to carry this on. And just withstand Tottenham's 5 year attack of Kane and Son combination. We know how that good that's been in real life, let alone in FIFA. Open the corner stops that combo. Now we can break. Come on, quicker passing. Not the best first touch by Jimenez. And they can't deal with it. Yeah, it looks like defensive is making a decent impact. We're not playing as high width, higher uh, high intensity in terms of high line. That's the word, high line. Yeah, with spacing behind, not as much. But Tottenham can still find space for themselves with the talent on offer. Come on. Delali has found space for himself and it's a goal. Um, I just, I don't know, guys. I don't know what you want me to do. Or maybe I'm better simulating all the games, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just the way it is. We are, we are struggling. And it's only it's all, it's all, it's all so much I can do. I can't do... I can't withstand the skills. I can't know which way they're gonna go. And Deli Ali picked the right, picked the picked the ball on the left hand side of the centre back, and it's just not looking good, guys. We just need to get a goal. We're playing like we can't keep on defending every time. We need to get a goal because even if we have good defenders, eventually they're gonna score one. So we need to bounce. We need to respond to that. Good ball over to Podence. In the middle. Maybe I should try more crossing instead. Because clearly they've got it sorted out in the middle. That's 3-0. Yeah, I don't know what... I'm drinking my tea because... I'm, it's, not, it's not like surprising anymore. Just how badly... We've been. My, my head's telling me give up and just l leave it to the simulation, but we got we we can't do that in the finale. We can't do that. That's just that's not top man. 
that's not top man behaviour. That we, we can't be cowards. We're gonna try and get a goal quickly before half time. Come on, give ourselves any semblance of hope. Come on, Jimenez, get yourself a goal. Throw away on the inside. Oh, I feel we've got that ball through. Yeah, it's half time, and with Tottenham, if they get those three points, which they likely will, now with three goals. That will leave them with like a four or five, six point gap, I think, ahead of us. It's an uphill battle. It's still possible, but it's just we've 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 lost twice to Spurs now, and it's just it's just not looking good. We've given ourselves an uphill battle if we lose this game. If we if we get a draw here, it's a miracle, to be honest. Um, but we're gonna go for it. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try and get in, into the game, try and practice more. So when we do versus Arsenal, then I can play a bit better than this. Much better than this. This is what it's not good enough. Come on, Patino. Shoot, my son. Oh, I hit the bar. Unfortunate, unfortunate. But that's our first shot on target, which took us only 50 minutes. Should have took us earlier that than that. But good attempt by Matinho. He's making some good runs. We just need to make use of them. Dale Ali's food, though. Excuse my sniffling in my nose if you hear that. And they've scored. Like, there's nothing I can do, guys. There's nothing I can do here. I'm just going to simulate the rest of the game because there's nothing I can do. I'm going to jump to the sim. I'm, I'm going to let the game still play out, but there's nothing I can do, guys. I can't handle their, their attack. I just can't. On this difficulty, I just can't. I don't know what's happened. I used to be good at legendary difficulty. So clearly, something's gone wrong. Maybe I've gone wrong a bit. Not playing enough, but also the updates maybe have, have made new new AI decisions. I don't know. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna jump to the result because it makes no difference. We're 80 minutes in, and it's four nil. I'm better off simulating all the games. That's we have got a better chance if I stay on the sidelines like a manager instead of actually jumping and actually affecting the game. That's that, that's we have a better chance of getting top four that way, um, which is which is annoying. For you guys, I want to. I want to. See, obviously, you want to see more pitch content as well. But simulations is still cool. But and it's like a real manager. But still, we have dropped points against Tottenham, and now they're they've got a game in hand ahead of us as well. And they're seven points ahead, so it's not looking good, really. It's not looking good, and that might make me reconsider my my match against Arsenal. Because it really is. I'm shooting myself in the foot time after time after again, and that's going to cost us Champions League football. Of course, Europa League football is the aim, but it's annoying when you were there in top four, looking good, and then you've kind of ruined it, you know what I mean? Okay, Fulham are 19th in the league, but we still want to attend the press conference, because we want to get the morale high as possible, gives us best as possible chance of getting these simulation wins. And yeah, we can grab a Europa League spot, but even that is in, that's in bloody high alert as well. We, we could, if we're not careful, we're going to lose the Europa League spot as well, which we don't want to do. We're just going to focus on winning, get the morale, very happy. Against bottom of the league, we should be winning, no excuses. But that should give us a better chance. We are, we are, yeah, Arsenal got a game in hand and they're in the Europa League spot. So we're losing out on both right now. We just need to, we, just, we need to carry on the pressure, we need to win. Bounce back in the Craven Cottage. Same team, they're a bit tired, but we'll simulate, we'll simulate because not with the same team. They've got enough energy in them. We've just got to just gotta be careful. Away from home, you never know what can happen. Fulham are starting off trying to go for it. But we're trying to counter now. We can't seem to break teams down these days anyway. <laughs> Come on, guys. Show me what you're made of. Come on. Good football. Good save. But it's I think he spilt it. And it's our own goal by their captain, centre-back. We'll take it, it was good football. And we're 1-0 up. You don't usually see on goals. Even in simulations or in the actual matches. So, that's interesting to see. But we deserve it. From the passage of play we were doing. We've just got to continue more quick passing like that. This is fantastic football again. And it's 2-0. Try already. This time it's one of ours getting a goal. And yeah, we're just gonna we're gonna happily jump to the result. I think we've got this done and dusted. You never know, but it's three 0 Fantastic. Matinho gets a third. We make some subs as well. Then Dogger comes in. Um, and yeah, that's a good bouncing back. But it was expected. It was expected. You can't be surprised about that. But the good thing is that 
We are now overtaking Arsenal, but they've got two games in hand. But we just got to hope they drop points. And all we can do now is not focus on that, them. Focus on the other teams. We've just got to focus on ourselves, really. Because we're the, we're the problem that we need to overcome. We need to just keep on winning. That's it. That's what that it, 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 We can't complain otherwise. If we keep on losing, then we've got all they have ourselves to blame. If we win all our games, then we, we, we can't do anything more than that. If you know what I mean, you've got to do the best we can. We've got Newcastle, who've... Who are eighth in the league, as you can see. So they, 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 they have an outside chance of getting a Europa League spot. So that shows how good they've been this season. So it's not going to be an easy, easy game, necessarily like Fulham. And we are, we are home though, which is good. Um, everyone's fully energized. We've had a break, I think, a week break. I think four four two. It's going to be hard to get past. We've got a good defensive shape with their manager, Steve Bruce, Saint Maximin, very dangerous. Kadira, I don't know if that's the Juventus Kadira, that'd be interesting. What's Callum Wilson's a good striker and Lascelles is a good centre back. So yeah, not gonna be smooth sailing for all these games, but we're gonna simulate this again. Uh, another simulated game. And yeah, we're gonna get the three points. We're confident. We've gotta be confident. We've gotta go for it. And I've gotta be confident enough to jump in if we have to, if we're losing 2-0 or something like that. Even with the even with my form of late. Flooding the gates here, if that makes sense. And they've got a 1 0 lead already. That's not good. That's not good. Forsberg, he plays for RB Leipzig usually. And the, that little bit of quality they've brought in has got themselves a lead. Five minutes in, that's annoying, isn't it? That's not good enough. Come on, guys, you're better than this. We're losing the ball in the midfield as well. Oh, God. If they've got Kadir and Forsberg, then that makes sense. But our midfield is still good, good enough. We've still got experience in there. Come on, okay, good, we're attacking, and we've still got it here, winning the ball high up the pitch, come on, Jimenez linking up with, don't know, I think that's a save, I didn't even see, I think it's Moutinho trying to link up with Raul as they've always been this season, but yeah, we've still got the ball, come on, now we're pressuring them. Moutinho. Turns in, gives it to Jimenez, and I've said, they're linking up. And that proves well. Now, Jimenez has got himself a goal. 30th goal of the season. You love to see it, and it's, it could be an important one, because it's equalising. But the game's not over. We need to carry this on and get the lead, get the two-goal cushion if we can. But Newcastle are here to play. It's going to be a tight one. Podence has been free this whole game, and he squares it to Jimenez, and it, we, we're back in the lead. We've pulled it back. You love to see it. This is good. Him and there's two goals. We've got he, this is these are the games you want him firing in. When we're back against the wall, Jimenez is there to save us. And yeah, he's been linking up with the wingers. Jimenez uh, has been linking up with Podence, but also Traore. Really good stuff. And we're still going here. Let's get this two goal cushion. Even before half time, it's been a very exciting first half. Newcastle. This is very dangerous. They're on the edge of our box, but good defending by Semedo. Once again. Zakaria trying to figure out who to pass it to. Come on. Fantastic. Okay. G good vision, but not quite there. Newcastle are through here. But good defending. I'm going to make some subs before I forget. It's a good time to do it. I said I would at this point. 65th minute. Um, who should bring on, I think? I think Dendonka should come in. Just a bit of defensive reinforcement. Um, we'll take off. We'll take off Neves. Give him a rest. Uh... Podence has been getting a lot of balls, so I think I'll just take off Traore for Brooks and put him on the right-hand side. He's up to 79 rated, you'd love to see it. And we'll bring on El Nori as we usually do, the youngster. He's been growing well since we keep on subbing on for Johnny. Even though Johnny is decent as well. But El Nori is good as well, but let's hope he doesn't get exposed as a youngster in this game. Because Newcastle got some experienced heads there. And they could pull off an equaliser if we're not careful. That's why we. That's why it's always important to get a two goal cushion. Good defending by Sakaria. Oh, we've got the goal. Just as I'm wiping my nose. Yes, Sakaria, fantastic defending, and he goes on the other end and scores. He was doing that a lot at the start of the season. As soon as we signed him from Much and Gladbach, and yeah, he sealed the goal. He sealed the W. To be fair, as you can see from the stats, Newcastle. We're in the game. Two shots, two chances. They got a goal. You can. It's a hard fought win. You can see why Newcastle are in the top ten this season. But yeah, we're trying to get ourselves in the top four if we can. And this is another good step to that. We, just, we need to be. On a, we need to go on the run. That's the only way we're gonna give ourselves the best chance of getting into Champions League football or Europa League football. 
Arsenal got a game in hand, but the same points as us. But they have dropped points. So if they continue to drop points in their next game, then we're, we're Gucci. But we've just got to continue focusing on ourselves until we verse them. I'm considering simulating the game. It depends on the big. It depends how big the situation is, but it's going to be a big situation regardless because we're so it's so tight. It's so tight between the three teams. Actually, not five. Too fair. It's not tight. It's only tight between us and Arsenal. It looks like Spurs are running away with top four spot. They 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 have fixed up themselves. So it's got to take a huge bottle job by Spurs to actually get get ourselves into top four, which is annoying. We can oh so we can push past the limits Samedo and Zakaria have. That's interesting, isn't it? Didn't know that was a thing. They've, well, it makes sense. They've been developing well because they've been playing almost every game of the season. But, oh God. M maybe if we simulated that game against Tottenham, I didn't, I didn't play it myself. It could have been a different boat. But you can't have regrets now. I want to play the games. So I need to show that I'm good at the game. But I'm just not, guys. I'm just not at the end of the season. I'm not playing enough FIFA as well. I'll try and fix up for that if, in 2021 when we do play more FIFA videos. We've got loans expiring for Ferreira, which makes sense, and El Nore. I forgot he was a loan guy. That's unfortunate. If you ever do carry on with the Wolves career mode, we might buy him, actually, because he's not, he's not going to be too expensive. Why are we looking for scouts? And I didn't know. He was a great substitute for us this whole season. I thought he was one of our own. Okay, also only one point ahead of us now, I think, with their game in hand. So they have dropped points. No, that Arsenal game might be a decider for Europa League, not Champions League. We just got to rely on Tottenham dropping points, but all we can do now is just win some of these games now. Um, let's check the calendar again, so because I don't want to be too tired going into the Arsenal game. Yeah, three games. I think we should have enough fitness left in the tank for all four of them for the first team to play every single one of them. But yeah, another game coming in, Crystal Palace. Uh, Roy Hodgson. Uh, Batshuayi, they got a good attacking talent, Townsend, Maya, Batshuayi is probably the biggest threat. Uh, their defence is there to be got at, and we've got to do it again and again. That's what we've got to do, let's go. Okay, I think we're, we're in the final month of the season, I think it's May, isn't it? May, the final month of the Premier League season starts now. And we want to start off with a third game in a row win. And yeah, you can never take anything for granted, come on. We conceded first against Newcastle. We don't really want to do that again. Make it easy for ourselves, guys. And we have. First six minutes, Podence gets straight in. Brilliant. Come on. Yes, Jimenez. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. We can we can rest. We can rest. Um, still a lot of the game to go, but it, it looks like we're demolishing Crystal Palace here, to be honest. And yeah, finishes 2-0. Two early goals. Seals the deal. 70% possession. Three shots. No shots for Crystal Palace. Complete domination. That's what we want to see. That's what's expected from us. And I didn't see the match there. Was it Arsenal going against Man United? We'll see. But whatever happens, we just got to keep on winning our games to provide the pressure for the other team. And yeah, I don't think Arsenal will play their game yet. But we have provided the pressure. And yeah, but Arsenal have won their game in hand. But So there's still one point ahead of us. But the good thing is, Spurs have dropped points. So we're three points below Spurs so Spurs have started to bottle it a little bit so we've got an outside chance of getting top four Arsenal are obviously a point ahead of us so they've got a chance as well it's, it's going to be very tight it's going to be very tight going into the last three games of the season I think yeah it's three games of the season I don't know if the Arsenal game is home or away Rocket League is installed but that's not the game we're focusing on Look, the good thing for us is that we've got a couple of easy games at the end of the season to help us get those points in to provide the pressure that we need. Uh, of course, it's always at the end of the season, the bloody crap youngsters we never even hear about until the end. You never even thought existed always ask for bloody play, uh, playing time, you know what I mean? Even, even if it's like bloody Champions League final. Um, but yeah, the team should be fully fit for this game. Um, that's an interesting away kit. We haven't wore that away kit this whole time. But it's the first time for everything. Of course, Southampton are really good in real life. Um, Hassan Hutul's coached them really well. And you never know, they could do something here. Ward Prowse is good. Ings is good. Uh, but the defence, again. Again, to be, it's always always got to be got, got at. Starting early, getting the goals early. That's what you want to see. Um, yeah, fully fit team. Um, we go again, same team. Same result, hopefully. Same three points. You never know. 
I say that a lot, you never know. Um, but it's that, there's more doubt in my mind when I'm playing random right, simulation. The simulations are doing well right now, and that's what we want to see because we're simulating a lot of these games. And yeah, I'm going to try and get the more, more excitement from you guys, even if I'm simulating all the games to the end of the season. I should be playing some. But if this is the way to get to top four, then so be it. Spurs have dropped points. It's going to be very, very exciting till the end of the season. We just got, we just can't, we just got to keep on winning so we don't blow it for ourselves and, and settle for Europa League football. We want to try and go for the top man status, even if we can't get there. We want to go for it. We want to try our best to do so. Just playing some fast stuff, as you expect from Hassan Hüttel's coaching. This is good stuff from them. But they're still, we're just keep, keeping them on the edge of the box, which is good. They've got a lot of the ball here, Southampton. We barely had a sniff. But we've got the ball now. Thanks to Sakaria winning the ball back, as he always does. That's what you want from a CDM. Come on. Ah. We've lost it, and they're going to try and counter now. We go back into shape. Ings is there. It's going to be a very tight game, I can already tell. But again, winning the ball back again. But this time it's size the centre-back. And now we're through 1v1. And yeah, we're clinical. We're clinical. They've had a lot of the ball, but when we get the ball, we progress it further. And Neves gets another goal to add to his season tally. We'll, we'll count them up at the end of the season. Should be a decent amount. Even with him being injured, even with him being injured for a good middle of the season, he's still been fantastic for us. We've, he's been a huge miss, and now that he's back in the squad, he's he's firing all the time again. Could get second one here. Yes, we can. Matinho, brilliant, brilliant. Just the midfielders. Sometimes the midfielders get more goals than the strikers, especially at the start of the season when we were doing so well, and we we're returning to that form here, which is fantastic. Brilliant. Three games on the bounce, winning. I told you guys, simulation is better. It's just better, better chance of getting the better results, but it's just less content for you to watch, um, more less interesting content. But if you like this commentary over the simulations, let me know how much you like it. But yeah, we're gonna jump to the results here. Two 0 should be it. No shots again for South Southampton. Walcott came on, but it's too little, too late. Let's see how that affects the league table. Um, yeah, we're three points below Spurs. Two games to go. Arsenal got their game in hand, but that's they're gonna verse us first. They're gonna verse us. And yeah, we've got to decide now what we're gonna do here. What we're gonna do here. We're at away from home as well. I'm gonna simulate the game, guys. Uh, I've got to. I've told you guys. I've just. I, I did plan to play Tottenham and Arsenal, but the way we're playing, the way we're playing is just not looking good. I will. Jump in the game probably just to give you some content. <laughs> Let's get the morale up, give us a better chance. It's about the results, so everything's about the result. This could decide our season whether we're Europa League or Champions League or not. This could be it. This is the last game defining season. Two games left to go. This is the penultimate game. Arsenal trying to get into top four as well. They've won their game in hand. No, they haven't actually. They dropped points, so they need to win against us to have any chance of Europa League or have a better chance. As you can see, the players are coming out, the coach. Oh, love that cutscene. Should, should have shown us more of that. Um, Jimenez is 32 goals. We're going to need him to be firing. We need everyone to be firing, like, as they have been in simulations. But we'll jump in when we have to. Um, yeah, let's see what squad they're saying. They're not doing as bad as in real life, um, Arsenal. Playing five at the back, that's gonna be very difficult to get past. Yeah, I think I think if 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 I'm play, if I'm playing this from the start, it's not gonna look good. It's not. I just I just know it's not gonna look good. The confidence is low for me. But we'll try and get back up if we have to jump in. Uh, Sabias, Partey, Pepe, Williams, and Aubameyang's not playing, which is good because he's always a, he's always a bogey player for me in career mode. He could come on through the bench though. Um, yeah, their attack is. Uh, their attack is uh, not as good, but they've, they've reinforced their defence with a formation that suits them. It's just got hard to get past. Our players are somewhat tired, but they've been working hard. They've got to work hard now. Probably the hardest they've ever worked today. Today in this game against the last big team of the season, really. Let's go. In the Emirates Stadium. 
Let's get the AFT rolling. If we could start off this game brilliantly, that'd be great. <laughs> We'd be doing that a lot. There's been a lot of early goals in the simulations. We've got the 1-0 goal. What a start. Neves. That's what we wanted to see, an early goal. I'm just in disbelief. I couldn't believe it. Against a big team like Arsenal. I know we've been doing it a lot, but this is we're just playing fantastically well. And if we get a two-goal cushion, I can afford to maybe get some playing time under my belt. Under my belt. Um, but we can't get ahead of ourselves. Get the two-goal cushion if we can. Defend well and counter if we can. Come on. See, Neves has been fantastic, hasn't it? Along with all the other strikers and midfielders. When we've most needed them. And Moutinho, speaking of the devils, ah oh yes, the wolves, the wolves are striking, the wolves are here, I'm going to jump into the game, okay, it's early into the game so I could bottle this and get a 2-2 draw thanks to my abilities, um, but we, we, we want to give you the content, we want to give you at least 60 games, 60 minutes of playing time, because sometimes it feels like you're cheating with simulations, because you want to have that tension of you sometimes messing up a bit. And not uh, relying on simulations to save you all the time. You know what I mean? Let's give you some content in the finale. And they could score already here. I <laughs> see. See, every time I'm playing, it's just the FIFA's just be like, let's let's score against him. Let's strike while he can't defend. Um, good save by Patricio. He's been fantastic for us. Unsung hero. He saved us from a lot of goals. Who? What would we do without him? Hey, what would you do without him? Fant that's one of his best saves all season, and that's saying a lot. We're gonna stick to defensive just to make sure. It's better safe than sorry. And we did play better like that. <laughs> God, it just came wide. Um, did play better like that against Tottenham. Even though we did concede a bit more. But I felt like I felt more comfortable in that formation. Or in that tactic. And we created that tactic for a reason. We might as well use it. Especially as we're two goals up. It's Arsenal we have to chase. But now we're trying to counter. A good ball on the top for Johnny. We've got the security of two goals. But why not add more if we can? I'm trying to end off my FIFA playing career on a high. Podence. No, I nearly got there. Ceballos. Williams. In that case, Williams is a good player, to be fair. It's a good signing. I didn't know it was that Williams. And he's got the goal. 2-1. He's number 14 for them. He's replaced the Bamiang effectively. And he's playing like him. Again, not good defending. And there's a risk now. There's a really big risk that we could throw this away. We could throw this away thanks to thanks to my playing style. Thanks to the way I play. Like we've been doing in the latter half of the season. But we just can't do that again. We've got to get this fifth win of the season, I think it would be. Not going to panic. Just keep the ball at the back if we can. Sometimes being pragmatic is the way to go in certain parts of this game. In certain parts of playing football. Not the best, sloppy, especially if you're doing sloppy balls like that in attack. And now the referee blows a whistle for half time. We're in the lead. Let's let's make sure we we keep it that way. I'm not gonna say anything that jinxes us. We just gotta work hard. If you wanna if you wanna you wanna get a chance, for 82 goals is that the competition record for Premier League? I don't know. I thought it was higher than that. But I don't care as long as we're winning, as long as we're scoring, as long as we're firing, as long as we're winning. We're playing five at the back though with defensive. I did. I forgot about that. Um, and our centre backs are getting a bit tired, so we'll definitely have to sub someone off sooner rather than later. I guess it makes the game more tense, but tensions haven't been working well for me. Fail under the tension, under the pressure. Williams is playing really good. He's working hard. They're trying to get the ball back, but we've got to try and contain him. He's their biggest threat at the moment. Good football. Back to Neves. So, so crowded around the area. Makes sense. They're five at the back as well, to be fair. Adama. Try and cross it in. Said I would try more crossing. Gets to Bettino somehow, but begin to sort it out. Tight 
hummus. Take some really good stuff. Come on. We have to we have to get the goal before them, otherwise they're, they're going to concede the way I'm playing. You know what I mean? It's, you, you, just, you just know. Oh, what? I was supposed to pass it sideways, not forward. Yeah, I just clocks so a Carvey is playing centre back. Even can he even play centre back? I think he can. Yeah, he's versatile. To be fair to him, that's why we love versatility. That's why. Thank you, mom. Christmas tree crumpet. I might have that for breakfast actually. Okay, mom, for the next 15 minutes, just don't, be, don't, don't talk to me. Thank you, mom. Is that all right? I'll, I mean, I'll have some breakfast after six. Is there people in the, lots of people in the shops? No. Or just normal? We haven't been looking like scoring, let alone defending well, so... But we can do it. Come on. Nice. Troll race through here. Come on. Use your pace to get past David Louise. Get the finish that we need. Oh, should have gone near post. It's a weak foot. Idiots. Idiots, Sid. Good run, though. We need to utilize that, utilize that more. More just direct play. Could, big chance wasted, you know what I mean? That could cost us. Really could. And Ketier. Good slight tackle. That's what we like. Don't put my the corner has just been my saving grace. If I didn't have a centre back as good as him, I'd be conceding even more goals. Keep the ball. Okay, it didn't mean to cross it to him, but it could work out for the better. Come on, get there, use your pace. Cross it in. Fantastic cross it could be. Okay, we'll take the corner. Okay, Jack is coming on for a party, so that could be a sign for us to make a change as well in response. Podence. Okay, good defending. Let's let's bring some people on. Um Coutinho's looking tired, so we'll get then Donka on. Open the corner, also looking tired. He's a good defender for us, but he's getting tired, so we don't want to risk it. We'll bring on Cody. He's, hopefully, he's good enough to for the last uh, half an hour or so. And we'll bring on... Who else can we play? We'll play El Nori. Okay, trying to make stuff happen besides the captain... Demanding, dominating. Fantastic. Odama, keep the ball, just keep the ball. Sometimes just holding the ball at the corner flag, time wasting is the way to go. So in the 90th minute, but we're going to do it anyway. Cross it in. Oh, the crossing is dangerous, so could continue more of that, but now they're going to try and exploit the counter. Shaka tries playing it through, but luckily goes out of play. Now the triple subs are coming on. Come on, lads. Let's see this game out. Let's see this game out and get the win. That could put us into a Champions League possibility going to the final game of the season. But it's not over yet. Size. Yeah, the five of the backs working, containing the space, limiting the space Arsenal can use to attack. Well, Raul makes a good run on side. Just finish it. Oh, too much power, maybe. Another hit, another shot hitting the bar. It's annoying, I can't score. I'm getting close to scoring in the last episode, probably, but still. I'm hitting the bar every time. Good interception by Cody. The substitute making his... Presence known. Chor is getting a lot of ball as well, to be fair. Neves. Oh, the best turn of pace. Five minutes to go. It's going to feel like the longest five minutes ever. 
below the top, but again, I'll play. Just keep on doing that, Arsenal. I'll take it. Let's just pass the ball, waste a bit of time. No need to always go forward and risk it. Especially when we're in front. Especially in such an important game. Don't lose it now. Yes. Okay. Okay, now we can get it forward. Okay, no. Munions want it to be fair to him. David Luiz tries a stupid ball, but we've done a stupid header back to the attacker. If we're going to have to foul them, we'll just foul them. But he doesn't have to, because El Norway does a brilliant slide tackle. I was meant to foul him, but he's so good, he got the tackle to see out the win. And the Wolves fans away at the away end of the Emirates are in elation, because they know what this means. That means probably European spot is probably on the cards, assuming we get a good result against Brighton, I think, it's the last game. And, yeah, really happy stuff. Yeah, we've put a, we've put a run together. You, probably more to the players than to me. It's more about the players. So it's always when the manager gives credit to the players in the post-match interview. I understand now. Sometimes it's not all about the manager. Sometimes the players are carrying them. Um, yeah, the players are doing the work. I just put the, I just put the team out. It's them who have to perform. And yeah, I nearly messed up again, but we defended well. I defended well. And yeah, Tottenham have beaten Burnley, so they're gonna hopefully look forward to a Champions League. But we all we can do is win our last game, really now. And just hope Tottenham drop points. But if we get Europa League football, we get Europa League football. At least we're not. At least we're not risking, at least we're not dropping out in the Europa League. That'll be a travesty if we don't get any European football. But it could still happen, we could still bottle it still. But yeah, it's good that we've won this one. 91, manager rating, that shows that they're happy, they're looking, it's looking good. Arsenal actually have no chance of getting Europa League football. We have sealed European football, we've completed that objective. Hence the 91 rating, green. Um... But let's see the goal difference. Is there a chance of Champions League football? Uh, no, there's no, there's no chance. Um, <laughs> that's annoying. Uh, 17 goals, 17 points more. And yeah, it's because Tottenham uh, beat us that we have no chance. Really, if we beat Tottenham, then there could have been a chance. Even then, um, even then, it would have been higher goal difference still. And if Tottenham win a game against their game against Newcastle, which they are expected to obviously win, then it is what it is. But I, I wanted to play some of the games, and sometimes the way you are in the league is where you deserve to be. And if I'm playing these games, which I want to do, which career mode YouTubers have to do, and I'm not losing, if I'm losing some of them, you got to take the consequences of that. You can't just be like, oh, if you simulated it, you could have won it, because we've simulated so many games. So it's like, I think fifth is a good standing for us. And that makes it even more even more pointless to play the game. We don't have to play this last game of the season against Brighton. If we were fighting for something, maybe as well. Um, but it is what it is. It'll be annoying if Tottenham do lose to uh, Spurs. Or Tottenham do lose to uh, Newcastle. Not to themselves. Because otherwise it, it, it'll be more sh uh, just like a pain for us. Because it'll be like, oh, if you, be, if you got a draw even against Tottenham, we could have done something. Or gotten a, you know what I mean? So, assuming we win this game. Final game of the season. Fully fit the squad that's been starting this whole time. The squad we've assembled, assembled. They've got a new Europa League football. Yeah, still a good season. If we got season two out, then it would have been good to play Europa League football. Just considering we're not continuing with this career mode, it's a bit annoying. Um, we could play. We could play FIFA 21 PS5 with uh, Wolverhampton in the Europa League, and we, with the default ratings, it wouldn't be as bad as if we're playing in Champions League, which the ratings would be too higher difference between us and other teams so maybe we could continue Wolves on FIFA 21 and just restart on the PS5 and FIFA 21 and restart but no I probably want a fresh start but let me know let me know I could still carry on with this career mode if we qualify for Champions League if we qualify for Europa League instead gives us more of a chance of doing something it's just that the ratings would be default just to remind you um <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, maybe that's the silver lining to not qualifying for Champions League. It allows us to have the ability to carry on with this team, even if the ratings are a bit higher, uh, a bit lower. Because we can obviously transfer the players in, uh, 
using the transfer setting. But yeah, enough talk of that. Let's let's get into the final game of the season. Five at the back. Everyone's playing five at the back now. Oxley, Chamberlain, more pay. They've they got some decent players in attack. So we just, we're gonna have to work hard as we usually do to get the points. But we have to be fair. Let's let's see let's see this game out. We'll probably ju jump in for the final ten minutes to see the celebrations of the season. Let's make it a good end to what's been a, a mad season with highs and lows. Let's go. Thank you guys for being on this journey with me. Just letting you know. <laughs> Thank you for all these players who've been fantastic for me. I've played well. I've played well with them a lot, but they've played well for themselves as well, as you can see. As as you can see in these simulations. Let's hope we can do it for this last game as well of the Premier League season. Brighton are still in this. Just still in this as if it's 1-0 up. We're not 1-0 up yet. Hopefully we can be. But Brighton are still trying to get themselves in front. It's not looking good. Hey. Okay. Can't. Patricio still keeps their attack alive. Yeah, maybe some of the players tiredness or fatigue is settling in here contributing to what's been a lethargic game so far for both teams a bit but let's change that come on let's get a goal him and then maybe his last goal of the season it could be the last of many and yeah one nil good start 30th it took us half now but we got there in the end we got the goal in front let's let's see this out we got the two goals yes that was such quick football i didn't even notice Jimenez with two goals. Let's get yourself a hat-trick. Come on. Let's go. I would love to score a hat-trick with him. Maybe score the last goal, the third and final goal with Jimenez myself. But you know me. I'll probably hit the post again. Um, but yeah. Let's carry on. Let's just, let's just carry on until the 80th minute. And we'll jump in. We might have to make some subs before then to be fair. Because our players are looking tired. But at the same time, I want to I wanna, I wanna have all our players that have started every, pretty much every game to end the game you know what i mean so maybe not make as many subs we don't need to anyway it's not like it's not like we have to worry about injuries anymore um <laughs> it's done it's done the game's done and dusted that it would be real it would be a real cherry on top if Jimenez did get his last goal of the season as a hat trick that'd be brilliant yeah give it to Jimenez. come on cut inside my son ah good defending It's not Jimenez, but it's Moutinho, who's been getting so many goals. He's probably up to d double figures right now. It's, oh, we're going to be checking all the stats after this game, trust me. Good save by the Brighton goalkeeper. To not make it 4-0. Could be a header? No. Oh, just over from the header, I think. But yeah, we're going to jump in today. Jump in today? Yeah, I forgot, you can press square. To go straight into the game, I'll have to bloody go into the menu. Should've known this. But yeah, we're gonna play this last 15 minutes. See out this game, see out this great season. Sunny day in Brighton. That's two away, that's two games are away, which is a shame, but is what it is. It's a sunny day to be fair, so let's try and see, let's try not get a clean let's try and keep a clean sheet as well, that'd be good. That'd be good. Especially for me. Um I will keep the ball no. Let's just try and get a rule, uh, a goal, and get myself a goal. Let's actually try and score a goal at least. That would be good. That's my mission right now. Come on. The last mission for this career mode. Good touch by Troy to keep the ball. Just lay it off to the winger, then let Raul make the run and pass it back to him. Not like that. I don't. Could cross it in here, but good defending by size. Okay, we, yeah, we might as well go attacking, gives ourselves the best chance of getting that last goal. Come on. Okay, we've lost the ball. He's turned in, Callister's turned in, no consolation. Patricio stops it. Come on.
Johnny. Good defending there. Come on, now we can break. Come on, let's use the wings. Have the big man up top, Jimenez. Let's get him this last goal hatch. Come on, we're going to do this. Come on. Pass it back. No, I was going to pass it to Karin and pass it back to Jimenez, but it wasn't meant to be. Should have maybe done an over-the-top cross. But it's all right. We've won this game. Three goals, three points. The last three points of the season. It doesn't matter. We've qualified Europa League anyway. And, yeah. No, it isn't that Brighton. Are we, no, we're at home. We're in, we're in the Molyneux. Why am I saying we're in Brighton? I know it's sunny. We do end this game at home. And yeah, he is among the greats. 32 goals in 37 games played. We don't win a trophy with him. He deserves a big trophy. Maybe we'll get one next season if we ever play this career mode again. But he gets the golden boot. Wolves get the applaudits. Disappointing. We saw, we touched Champions League football. But we, we didn't quite do enough, obviously. <laughs> To get to that but we we reached the objective the board wanted which was Europa League football and that is my friend is the end of the season Jimenez with another 9.6 performance Matinho running the show from the midfield that's what you expect and yeah that's what we expect every game of the season no less the end of the season and yeah the Tot I think Tottenham won their game against Newcastle anyway to be fair so even if we beat Newcastle I think or even if we beat Spurs sorry it would have been probably fifth place was the bookies favorite for us and yeah we got we we met the expectations of everyone there yeah i can't praise the boys enough really they always work hard whether whether we whether we're not winning or not you know what i mean that makes no sense whether we're winning or not they work hard these lads we've we've assembled a good squad together and we get 100 million Thanks to the Premier League. Table finish. Yeah, no more games to worry about. You guys can go on holiday, lads. You can go on holiday. All of you, you're all tired. You can go on holiday. Let's look at the objectives. And let's look at the stats for everybody. Before we end it all. Um, yeah, we got Europa League finished. Exactly what the board wanted. Got a streak of five games without defeat. Yeah, we did that thing ages ago, to be fair. Um... We, we within the same same season signed two players and make a profit. We did do that. I didn't I didn't mean to do that, but we got there. We started. We did try and sign a lot of players. Youth development not quite. Um, we we nearly got the youth academy positions, but I don't think we signed a youth, a youth goalkeeper. So um, sign at least two players with potential ten, potential greater than the average squad. We don't need to do that. Continental success not quite, but we'll. That will be for next season. Yeah, we but we, we pretty much got the main objectives they wanted, the big ones. Let's take a look at the stats, squad hub. So in terms of goals, um, well, to be fair, him and his play almost every game of the season. 44, 38 goals, 17 assists as well. I didn't notice how many assists. I told you, he does so many assists. I didn't even notice. I noticed, but I was like, not that many. That is just world-class stuff, isn't it? The Mexican, the Mexican hero. Brilliant stuff. 30, 34 of them in the Premier League. A couple of them in the uh, FA Cup and, the pre uh, and in the pre-season. But yeah, 38 goals, 17 assists. Matinho shortly following below him, which makes sense. 16 goals, 15 assists. Again, world-class performances from them too, isn't it? 13 in the Premier League. 13 goals in the Premier League, 15 assists for Matinho there. Chore, he picked up at the end of the season. He got a lot of goals to make up for it. Um, but he was always contributing, even without the goals and assists. But yeah, 11 goals, 6 assists, that's decent from the 25-year-old. Room for improvement, he's got year years to grow. Neves gets 10 goals, 6 assists. Someone who was brilliant every game he played. It's a shame he got injured for a bit. He would have got even more stats, even more goals and assists. Zakaria, one of the best signings ever made in the career mode. CDM, but he could score goals. He could really make the dying runs as well as the good interceptions, as you expect. 8 goals. And nine assists in forty games, in almost forty games, all in the Premier League. Podence gets a lot of assists as well, ten assists, eight goals, a lot through the simulations to be fair. But yeah, still a good player for us. And yeah, uh, then Donker three goals to assist. That's cool. I didn't expect that. He's always a great substitute for us. Brilliant option off the bench. And he even obviously did well to to replace Neves for a couple of games when obviously he was injured. Neves as uh, the young the young striker Silver got two goals. Semedo gets one four assists. That's all. That's decent for first season. And Johnny got two two assists, one goal. Maybe a few more from the fullbacks would have been nice. But it was mainly down the wingers that our most wide attack support 
for, for attacking and getting goals and assists mostly. So the, the fullbacks were, in terms of defensive job, that was the main job and they did that well. Gibbs White gets one goal in, at loan. More than anybody else at loan, to be fair. Even though Cotron is up there, 78 rated, he could be a good player for us if we carry on. Diallo as well. Is that the same Diallo as the one who's going to Man United? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, he plays for Atlanta. But yeah, let's look at the assists. We've already pretty much seen how many assists everyone's got. Jimenez gets the most assists as well, which is crazy for a striker. But it's not crazy, actually. Strikers are more more unselfish, you know, these days. You know what I mean? More all about giving the wingers more goals. But Jimenez gets the assists. Not only this is he gets the goals as well, which is crazy. So it shows how good he was at hold up play and goals. Moutinho, second. Podence, third. Yeah, pretty much the same as the goal tally. Uh, whoever gets the most goals got the most assists, you know what I mean? And vice versa. Uh, yeah, Semedo got quite a few. Triover got quite a few. Neves. And yeah, I th think that's all of it done. I think that's all the stats done. Done and dusted. Confirmation of the top scorer list. Him there's 34 goals, which is crazy. A league record, apparently, which is fantastic. Um, we'll take that trophy, uh, the golden boot with Jimenez. The only one this season, but it was, a, it was a top man performance by Jimenez. Top man Jimenez is expected. Halfway through the season, he was getting so many. It was like, it was almost a given he would get that golden boot award. And yeah, Jimenez tops it up for the assists as well, with Martinho behind as well. That is, have you, have you ever seen that in the Premier League season? I don't think you have. Fantastic. He he is single-handedly almost not single-handedly because everyone's been brilliant. But yeah, Matinho and Jimenez have been the spine of our team, isn't it? And open Medicano as well as centre back. Sicario's oh, Sicario's then potence is there as well. We dominate that top ten list for the assists as well. Clean sheets. Patricio's still there, third place. Sixteen clean sheets. Obviously, we conceded a lot by the end as well, so that cost him. But Patricio deserves to be in the top three at least because. He was fantastic for us, making so many good saves. So, such an experienced goalkeeper, and he showed. Uh, Allison, but ends up, he, Allison from Liverpool, he ends up topping it, and Edison as well. That makes sense, just like in real life. And De Gea as well, to be fair. Um, my controller's running out, that's when you know it's bad. Uh, uh, that's when you know it's the end. Uh, Kane, yeah, nobody in the yellow cards. We're not, we're not, we're not undisciplined players. See, you can, you, we're, we're always hardworking, honest players. We don't dive. But yeah, I think that's everything settled. Everything settled. Let's take a final look at the Premier League table. Let's see actually one before I forget. Yeah, we confirmation, we end up fifth, 71 points, 22 wins, 5 draws, 11 losses. Not good enough there, but we've got more wins to compensate for that, to get ourselves into the oblique spot. 7 points ahead of Arsenal. So the top 5 were way ahead of the pack. Arsenal ended up bottling it. Chelsea ended up bottling it. They could have been in with a chance, but... By the end of the season, I think they failed a bit. They lost quite a few games. They got, I think they got too many draws as well. Liverpool ended up winning the league. Three points ahead of Man City. Very tight between them two. Man United had the chance as well. And yeah, Spurs, to be fair to them, they won the title. They won the top four race. Fair play to Spurs. They won the top four race with Mourinho at the helm. And we settled for fifth, which is calm. We'll take it. We can take a look at all the other competitions, but I don't really give a crap, to be honest. Um, especially, we will give a crap probably if uh, if we play Europa League football the next season. Then we'll look at other other clubs in the other leagues. But yeah, I think we're gonna end it for there. We're gonna end it there. Uh, youth player unsettled. Uh, yeah, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this career mod. We're just gonna we're gonna go all the way to the end of the season. So I'll show you the end of the season tab. But yeah, I'm considering maybe continuing this career mode on Twitch, which I'll be playing more of when I get that new setup done for 2021. I might make a video for the new setup as well. But yeah, I'll be getting new software done as well with OBS Studio to make these videos look even better. And the streams have even more streams going on on YouTube and Twitch. Not the best quality that I can do for you guys. And more games, more FIFA and more other games you want me to play as well. Um... So that's going to be cool to see. So yeah, I might consider playing this Wolves career mode in Twitch and maybe have a new career mode on YouTube. Have a new proper career mode on YouTube and just play this for fun on Twitch if you want me to. Especially as we're in the Europa League, we can still carry on. Even if the even if some of the, we'll put Zakaria in, we'll put the new signings in, but they'll obviously be more default. So we'll have to train them up from default settings. Because um, we don't have PC for FIFA, which we could change. 
PC FIFA apparently can change all the ratings all the time. But yeah, that's the plan. Let me know if you want me to do that. If, even if you haven't watched, this, even if you skipped to the end of this episode, let me know. Let me know. Twitter, Instagram as well. I'll be let me. I'll let you know all the news as well, as well as on YouTube. Hopefully, if you want me to. Yeah, lots of players returning from loan, which we can use if we continue this career mode. But yeah, let's delete all these messages. We're 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 in for a holiday. Hope you guys have a good Christmas as well. Hope you enjoyed this. Have, hope you've enjoyed these uh, episodes as a Christmas treat for you guys. Um, but yeah, we, we, we hope you guys have a nice year. Happy New Year. It's been a, it's been it hasn't been the best year, but I hope you guys enjoy the videos nonetheless. And it brings you a little bit of happiness in what's been a, not the best year, but it's been a good year of football for Wolverhampton with the Miss Sid Topman meeting expectations and you guys helping me to do so as well with your suggestions so thank you to everybody who's commented and suggested players who you want me to buy you know who you are and yeah even anyone who's just watched this videos any of these videos liked and subscribed and shared these videos you're absolute legend and um yeah we're gonna end the season and yeah it, it could if this is the end of the world's career mode then it's been a brilliant ride if we continue on twitch then it's going to be brilliant it's, it's a great team i've assembled assembled i'd love to continue playing with it whether it's for fun or on youtube or on twitch but yeah for now it's been your boy sid topman sid topman that's my name um 87 match rating or manager rating we end on rounds it out him that grabs the player of the award as well as the uh, golden boot and yeah, that's enough talk. I think that's enough it. It's crazy. It's just, that's it, isn't it? Um, it's crazy when things end. You spend a lot of time on it. It's been like four months we've been on this career mode journey since the start of FIFA 21. But yeah, we'll we'll hope to continue more with better career modes, with more uploads as well, and not taking ages to upload as much with the new software. I'll try to do that. Um, I'll try to do that for you guys. And yeah, if you're new to the channel, if you made it to the end of the video, you're top man. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Bottom right hand corner, smash that. I really appreciate it. Leave the notifications on so you don't miss a stream and upload. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Good.